I've been playing airsoft for almost 10 years at this point. This is a hobby that has stuck with me through my preteens, my teenage years, high school, and even after about to start college. This is a hobby that I absolutely love and that I am invested in to say the least. However, to be completely honest with you guys, I have thought about stop playing airsoft before. I've thought about selling off all my stuff. I just haven't been, there's been days that I haven't enjoyed airsoft that I just wanted to get out of it. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how I get out of that rut, how I make myself enjoy airsoft again and what really motivates me to keep playing because I know if I've been in this situation before, I'm sure that there are guys out there who are either going through this right now or they've gone through it themselves. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to get out of a rut in airsoft. What's up airsofters, my name is Lane and welcome back to the BB Warrior. We're here to help you have a better time both on and off the airsofting field through our educational content as well as discussion videos like today's video. So if you enjoyed this sort of thing, well, I'd love it if you joined our community when that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it for updates when we post brand new videos every single Friday here on the channel. So like I said, there have been days that I thought about selling off all of my airsoft gear. I felt like I was bored with the hobby or I just wasn't enjoying it as much as I used to. Whatever your reasoning or my reasoning may be, there have been those days that I decided I think I want to quit this hobby. And needless to say, I am glad that I didn't. And I hope that today's video helps some of you guys out there who kind of lost the spark with Airsoft. So some of the things that I can recommend to kind of get you back into enjoying airsoft is to change things up the expression variety is the spice of life is probably the motto of today's video if you're finding yourself being bored with airsoft the first thing i would recommend if you have the capability to do this try a different field um, a little bit of backstory, a couple of years ago, I was really happy with my kit. I was building a DevGrew impression based around the Bin Laden raid, and I, I was super invested in this for like two years. My kit was all done. I only had like a little bit of minor details to get left. And then one weekend, I said, wow, it, it just isn't doing it for me anymore. I wasn't enjoying airsoft um this was at the time that i was creating videos for the bb warrior um i just i wanted to give up on youtube i wanted to give up on airsoft entirely and needless to say i am glad i didn't but i've definitely had those situations and i thought to myself well i'm bored i should try something new so instead of trying out a new field i sold all my guns i sold all of my gear and it didn't put me in a good situation to try new things. At that time, the only field I went to was 20 minutes from my house. And it was not a good field at all. The issue wasn't that I wasn't enjoying airsoft. It was that I wasn't enjoying that field. And this isn't to say that this only happens with bad fields. My favorite airsoft fields, I get bored with if I go there too often. So I like to change it up. I like to go to, you know, Milsim Ops if that's your thing, or just going to different fields, even if I know that I don't enjoy them as much as this field, I just feel like it refreshes me and it gets me excited to go back to that field that I enjoy. If you don't have the capability to go out to different fields for whatever reason, try switching your gameplay up. I'm not saying sell off your umbrella ar armory gun to buy an SSG-24. I'm not saying that crazy of a switch up, but if you're typically like, a, I like to get up close and personal type guy, try sticking back. Try acting as like a little bit more like recce or kind of acting as like a designated marksman. Even at fields that I enjoy, I like the change of pace. Typically, I'm a very aggressive player. However, on those days that I like to take it back and be all, you know, stealthy snake through the woods, I have a ton of fun. And that's something that I try to do probably like a quarter of the time that I'm playing because it just refreshes. And, you know, I like to take different avenues on the field, different approaches, things like that, because it just makes Airsoft more enjoyable for me as a whole. So if you're feeling a little bit of a rut with our hobby, I would definitely recommend just try changing things up. Um, I think that another thing that really can benefit your time in Airsoft is the people that you are around. So what I mean by this is I... I almost never like to go to an airsoft field without at least another friend or two because they just add to the experience. Um, so another example from my personal experience for you guys. Recently, I went to a Milsim game that I hated. 
I thought the game was bad, the refereeing was awful, and overall it was just a bad game. I'm not going to say the game's name, because um, I don't want to start beef or anything like that, but needless to say, I had a very bad time with this game. If it wasn't for the people that I went with, I wouldn't have enjoyed it whatsoever. I had a really good time solely because of the people that I was around. If it wasn't for the people that I was with, I know I wouldn't have had a good time. Like, halfway through the day, I was like, man, this sucks, you know, this was a waste of money, I'm not enjoying myself. I got with a couple of guys from Gun Gamers, and we did a, you know, a sneaky go-through-the-woods type of mission, and we had a blast. Again, the game sucked, um, in my personal opinion. However, I had an absolute blast because I was with my friends. I wasn't enjoying myself because I was getting a ton of kills or anything like that. Just being around them was the best part. Being with my friends is what I enjoy about this hobby. And fun fact, out of all of the people that I play Airsoft with and that some of the people that I call my best friends to this day, I met through Airsoft. Pretty much every person that I hang out with nowadays I met through Airsoft. Even if they don't play anymore, they're my friend because of this hobby. So I'm definitely a huge believer that most of my enjoyment from this hobby comes from the people that I am around. Whether it's my friends over at Gun Gamers, which definitely check out their channel if you have not already, or my just any of my other friends that I play Airsoft with. You know, the regular, if you've ever been at a field that I've been at, I typically play with the same group of like four or five guys every time I play, and I just enjoy Airsoft because I'm with them, I'm with my friends, and that makes it more enjoyable for me personally. But anyways, guys, I am not a stranger to the rut whether it has been through my experiences on the airsofting field or being a little bit frustrated with YouTube, which admittedly has not helped in the past if I haven't been doing too great on YouTube. However, I'm really happy with where the channel is now. It's easy to get frustrated with our hobby. However, if I had to give one piece of advice, don't give up. Don't give up on this hobby unless you truly, truly think that you will not enjoy it anymore. If you ever feel like you're in this sort of rut where you're not enjoying this hobby, feel free to reach out to me. I will talk to you anytime about this because I hate seeing people leave our hobby. And it's a sad truth that a lot of people leave our hobby within the first two years of playing Airsoft. So anyways, guys, that's just kind of my take on this sort of thing. Like I said, I've been in the rut before and I, I wanted to help anyone else who might be in the rut, I'm going to call it, as well. If you have any sort of advice for kind of shape, or kind of spicing things up with Airsoft and making it more enjoyable, definitely sound off down in the comments below, because I think that this will be a fun, even though it's a little bit depressing, um, discussion down in the comments below. If you've been through this sort of thing, make sure to let me know what your experience was, and if you've been through this, quit, and got back into Airsoft, we'll convince you to get back into our amazing hobby. But but anyways guys i'm gonna wrap up this video here so if you enjoyed this video and this was your first time here we post new videos just like this one every friday so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon next to it and make sure that you get updated when i post a new video again every single friday here on the channel but if you want to connect a little bit more i am on social media links to facebook instagram and twitter are all down in the description below this has been lane from the bb warrior talking about the rut that I have encountered in Airsoft and how I've overcame it, or overcome it, excuse me, poor grammar. And I'll see you all next time.